Okay, I have a quick tip for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn these dollar store S-hook pot hangers into a pot crane. If you're interested, keep watching. So I was in the dollar store recently and I'm always looking for something I can turn into a bit of a bushcraft item. So I was going down the aisle where the plant uh, hangers and that type of thing are, the gardening supplies are, and I spotted these. And they're S-hooks and you get four of them for a dollar and a quarter. And I thought, you know, they're probably worth picking up for that price just for the sake of something I can hang over, uh, not a branch, but like a pot crane or something like that across a fire. Uh, you know, there's probably some uses for them. But when I got home, I uh, started playing with one of them and I started hammering it in my vice. And it did take a bit of hammering, I, I won't mind telling you. But this is what I came up with. I created a figure eight. And with this figure eight, I can make a very uh, expedient pot crane for hanging over a fire. Let me show you how it works. Okay, you're going to have to work with me on this today because uh, we're under a fire ban. Surprise. Dry, uh, beautiful weather. You know, very few clouds in the sky, very low humidity, strong winds, forests are dry, and here we are under a fire ban. So I can't have an actual fire to show you, so you'll have to take my word for it. This will work over a fire because I have given it a try. So let me show you what I've done. Okay, so what I have is I've taken a, a stick and I've uh, pointed one end and driven it into the ground and uh, I sized it. You can see I did have to do, I think I can probably show you a little bit more. I did have to do a little work with the knife just to thin it out because it was just a little bit too thick. But the idea is to take one end of this figure eight and be able to put it on over top and, and adjust it. And that's how you'll decide how much... Uh, how far down you want to taper it or unless you start with a thin enough stick that it'll go up and down So you get some height adjustment by tapering that like that Then you need a second stick and on the end of that stick you'll do the same thing taper it So the way this works Drop it down over the upright drive the other one well not drive it through just fit it through and There you've got a pot grain one that you can swing in and note over the fire and lift just by going up and down on it and it will pinch itself there is a bit of spring to this now i'm just going to move the camera and you'll be able to see what it would look like over an actual fire all right so this is where your imagination comes in because we're imagining we have a fire here between these two logs which of course we don't but i have my stake driven in the ground and i have my uh, crossbar or my hang the member that goes out over the fire and uh, you would put a, a a notch in it if you if, if that's the type of pot you want to use so i've got it adjusted to where i think i need it here's my pot and i can hang my pot over the fire just that simple now, how much weight will it hold? Well, I've had pots of water over it. I haven't had anything like a Dutch oven over it, but I've had pots of water, uh, probably two liters is the most I've hung over this so far, and it still seems to work. So again, I can swing it out of the way or position it over the fire where I want it to and raise the height up and down just by moving the, uh, probably easier if I take the pot off first, lift it up, get a little higher, Simple pot grain. Very simple idea, something to play around with. It does take a little bit of experimentation to learn to what's the right thick, thickness of stick you're going to use. But once you get it, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. So it's just something you can put in your backpack and it will work for you. Okay, very simple idea. So the next time you're in the dollar store, if you see these on the shelf, these S-hooks, grab a package of them, take one out, bend it into a figure eight like that, carry it with you next time you're in the wood, Try it out. See if it'll work for you as a pot crane. Okay, it's very simple. Something small you can put in your pocket or in your pack, and you'll have it there when you need it. That's all I have for you. Just one simple trick, but I'll see if I can come up with more like this and save you some money along the way. In the meantime, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.